Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, Bible journaling, thrift, and trash flips on my channel. I hope you enjoy my video today. So for this first one, this is project number one. I'm going to be using some scrap wood that I had in my stash and I'm going to paint this one all with white with the Snow White and the Waverly Chalk Paint, and I do three coats. Then I'm going to use this stencil that I have in my stash, and I'm going to try to line it up. And before I do that, I go ahead and dab my paintbrush here, and then I realize that I'm going to need to tape this down. So I grab me some masking tape here and just tape where I want, you know, to not get any, any of the black paint on. So I'm going to cover up those areas now, and I also cover up the star. Um, this is a little nativity scene, and I'm going to be using my black um, chalk paint, but this isn't by Waverly. This one is by Folk Art. I'm not going to get me some Waverly until this one is all gone. And then I just do some circular motions over top of my stencil like so. And it leaves me a perfect crisp line. Um, and then I just cleaned out my brush a tiny bit here. And I'm going to show you how I clean this really fast. If you're ever wondering, um, I just clean everything at my desk. That way I don't have to go upstairs and use the sink. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to let that soak. And then I'm going to go around the edging of my project here with the leftover like um, black paint that's on my brush here and I do every single edge and sides like so and that's pretty much it for that part right there and now that I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and wipe this up like so and I do it a few times and I'm using just some alcohol spray that I put a sprayer on like this and it takes about three times to get it all cleaned up that's it pretty fast pretty simple it comes right off and then um, I decided that I was going I was thinking about adding that angel on there but I decided not to it was a little bit too big so I'm going to use my buffalo plaid ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just make me a simple awareness bow and I'm going to go ahead and duck tail the ends of this bow as well. And then we will glue it down to the project. And that is going to be it for this first little project. Now I did have three little red squares that I had painted white. So I'm going to use all three of those today in my project. And sorry I sound a little um, off here. I'm not feeling very well. So please forgive my voice. This is a collaboration with What Would You Make? The host is Connie's Woodshops and DIYs. Her guest host today is Craft Away with May. And the other host is Rustic Lace and DIY. That's Connie, Brenda, and May. Um, we will have a playlist for you guys down in my, my description box. So make sure you go ahead and check out the rest of the crafters and see what they, would, they all have created with wood today. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and the playlist. So we're going to hop in right into my next project, project number two. Oh gosh, my voice and my throat hurts so bad, you guys. You have no idea. <clears throat> but I really wanted to get this video out and done. And I knew it wouldn't take me very long to do it with stencils. So I decided to go ahead and spend a few hours crafting um to make this video for you guys and then i'm going to go lay down and take a nap for the rest of the day i promise and i'm doing the same exact thing that i did from the first time i'm going to use some circular motions here and i'm going to put on that black chalk paint pretty simple easy diy now make sure that you don't get a lot of paint like at first i put i dab my paint down into the paint and then i dab it off 
you see how I'm doing right there and then I go into a circular motion I know it looks really fast here but I'm actually doing it really slow because this video is speeded up of course but um, if I did it really slow you guys would be bored to death all right and that's it pretty simple pretty easy um, and then I'm going to do the same exact thing around the edging of this one and I added the bow okay so I'm going to go ahead and move right along <clears throat> to project number three and I'm using that last little square and this one says Jesus is the reason um, for the season but I'm only going to be able to fit Jesus is the reason on here so I'm going to go ahead and tape off like I did before all the parts that I don't want any black on and that's pretty much it for this part you just want to make sure that you get the tape down where you obviously don't want any black on and the same thing here I'm going to dip my brush down in there dab it off as much as I can and then I'm going to go into a circular motion here now I will say um, and my is part I kind of went a little heavy handed there see how I just dabbed it back into the paint and I didn't dab it off I should have dabbed that off a little bit more before I did because I had a tiny bit of bleeding on my s but that's okay you can't hardly even tell anyways and that's it you guys I'm going to dry this up because this one is you know kind of more all over the place and I don't want to accidentally stick my finger down in them and mess it up but I'm doing the same exact thing here I'm going to go around the entire edges now this one I'm going to do a little different I'm going to take my um, ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go around the entire edging here like so <clears throat> excuse me um yeah my throat hurts so bad and then i decided to make a bow on the top make it kind of look like a present in a way but it's not and i did like a few like of these little circular hoops here and i accidentally made two of those the exact same so i'm going to fix that here and make this one just a tad bit smaller and then I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Do another little circular hoop here. <clears throat> like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Like this. And then this will be. Um, then we'll put it all together like this. And then I'm going to line it up the best I can in the center of this. And then I'm going to tie it off like so. You want to try to pull that as tight as you can get it. <coughs> oh, excuse me, you guys. <clears throat> like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to fluff those little, like, bow-looking things up the best that I can. I couldn't stick my fingers down in there, so I'm just using my little pokey tool from the Dollar Tree. And then we'll duck tail the ends like this and then I'm just going to glue it down and that's it for this project you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my projects today. I'm trying to make them as fast and as easy as I could. That way I can go lay down and rest. Um, yeah I'm just not feeling the greatest. There's a little bug going around everywhere so and of course i catch every single bug that comes across the nation i swear it mm -mm. and that's it and then i had a little boo-boo right there so i just fixed it all right you guys i just want to say thank you to the host and the co-host today for having me on this collaboration with them and i'd like to thank all my subscribers you guys are absolutely amazing and i appreciate everything everyone does for my channel now we are going to go ahead and head right over to the final reveal of my projects today. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is it all set up in my little um, area where I do like my little final reveal spots. But look at how adorable this is. I absolutely love it. 
And I did make those spool trees as well. Those are so adorable, aren't they? I will link that video down in the description box if you'd like to watch that video on how I made that. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for everything that you do for me and my family and bless everyone that's watching this video now. Jesus is the reason for the season, y'all. And this is Mary and Joseph with Jesus. And these are, I believe, supposedly the three three wise men, I'm thinking. And this is one last little look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. And don't forget to watch the playlist and all the other crafters. I'd like to say thank you for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me, <clears throat> excuse me, on Instagram, on my personal account, or my YouTube Craft Project account. <coughs> I can't. Oh, goodness. <coughs> excuse me, you guys. But once again, I want to say thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. And I, I thank you all for watching my video, and please say a little prayer for me so I get a little bit better. And I just want to say bye. Have a great day.